someone to tell the 4G pill bros that drizzle drizzle doesn't make sense? Look, if you're broke, just say that. No, you drizzle drizzle men are actually being dead serious. Oh, every time I get on this app, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all. But the war between the sprinkle sausage warriors and the soft guy era kings is just getting started. Soft Listen. guy era is only for soft gay era. Listen, I ain't condoning none of that soft guy ever shit they talk about. Drizzle drizzle means I'm too broke to make it rain. Drizzle drizzle means you need... Sprinkle sprinkle warriors versus drizzle drizzle kings. Let the war begin. The girl spent the night at your house and figured out that you... Staying the night at my house? Not unless she's paying rent. Drizzle drizzle, baby. Drizzle drizzle means I'm too broke to make it rain. Drizzle drizzle means you need to make an appointment with your urologist. Stat. Drizzle drizzle means I'm so maidenless that all I do with my time is comment drizzle drizzle into the comment sections of women that I would have to pay to spend time with me. Drizzle drizzle means mom, call the maintenance man. Drizzle drizzle means you're so unoriginal that you have to piggyback off the creativity of women. I have yet to see one person with a picture of their actual face as their profile picture using the phrase drizzle drizzle. This woman is so blind that she can't see drizzle drizzle is just taking the ridiculous things women are saying to men and turn it back on them. If she's that mad, she should honestly be mad at herself for all the other women who be spewing their unrealistic delusional garbage. And last time, I checked they said women were smarter than men. I always wondered about that. All right, so I wanted to answer this question, and I'm going to give my opinion on what it means. So what is drizzle drizzle? Well, in a nutshell, it's the response to this lady. How do you know if a dude is lying if his lips is moving? Sprinkle, sprinkle? Mm -hmm. You said there's nothing wrong with your income? That's right. So there should be nothing wrong with you having two jobs. Sprinkle, sprinkle? Yep, that's right, Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle. The one who's done more to educate men on how toxic and narcissistic today's modern women are than I ever could. That's correct. All this woman is doing is teaching women to use men for what they have. Use tricks and lies to deceive men and then discard them if a better option comes along. This modern bird is the chief executive of the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement. Here's another one. He's 24 and gets paid 16 an hour. What should I do? Look for another one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Take his money and get somebody else too. I don't know how old y'all are, but in the real, real world, you can't really do much with less money. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be do, you're not going to want to be with somebody that doesn't make enough money to take you on vacation every year or to pay for stuff so you can go on vacation. You're not going to want to be that forever. Why do men make me feel inadequate and incompetent when I don't have a job? And what can I say to them? Well, here's my answer. Tell them you don't need a job. You need a man that makes enough money for the both of you. How about that? Then they feel incompetent and inadequate all of a sudden. Her tactic is just simply teaching women how to gaslight their man. Teaching other women how to make their man feel like they're not doing enough for the family. For them, it's all about the money and what can that man do to make their lives better. Here's her response to the soft guy era. Oh, the duckies are celebrating. Drizzle drizzle sounds like y'all forgot to pay the water bill. I need to change that. This woman is so pissed off because her brand just became the biggest joke on the internet and she will now be the face of the anti-feminist movement. The opposite of what she hoped for. Drizzle, drizzle, no one pay the water bill. Drizzle, drizzle, we're trying to copy women. You could sprinkle, sprinkle your dazzle dust onto your only kind of dust I like. No, the dust is celebrating. The males have started saying drizzle, drizzle, like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are, are so feminine. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle, I thought they was talking about Drake. It doesn't stick as good as sprinkle, sprinkle, though. Sound like they're actually drooling. Okay. Sound like you're drooling. Sound like your water bill about to get cut off. Anyway. <laughs> Sound like your water pressure low. You live in a bad area.
She may not want to admit it, but she has lost this battle. This is what happens when you put a mirror in front of a woman's face. Even though the men are saying exactly what they're saying, they still refuse to take accountability. Well, because we are the table. Without my seed, you can't have any kids, drizzle, drizzle. Oh, come on. Be fucking for real. You know, it is funny to me that it's always you dusty nignogs that come up with these ridiculous ass things. Drizzle, drizzle. What y'all gonna do? Drizzle it on each other? Go ahead. I think that's cute. That's real fucking cute for y'all. I mean, seriously. Don't no woman want you, bud. You just said you're going to need a woman to send you $75 to keep your beard tight. Well, look at your nappy ass beard. Ain't no woman running you no coin. And as far as your seed, your seed can end up in some old stanky ass gym sock on your bedroom floor like it always does. Because what your seed cannot do without our egg is make another human being. So I won't give a damn about that either. And y'all nignaws ain't loyal to each other. So if it's just about carnal desire, what you won't do? I bet your homeboy will. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah, you can't offset us. Fellas, take notes. This woman has a lot of broke vibes coming from her, which indicates that she cannot take care of your needs. What she won't do, another woman will. She really got on the camera to say a whole bunch of nothing. She said, drizzle sounds ridiculous. If that's the case, Sprinkle Sprinkle sounds ridiculous as well, but you don't see her addressing that. Who's going to tell the 4G pill bros that drizzle drizzle doesn't make sense unless you're literally being drizzled on? Because sprinkle sprinkle is a verb. If you're going to steal from us, you're stealing everything, babe, okay? To be sprinkled upon is to be gifted. So you are being drizzled upon? See, it doesn't make sense to you because it's defeating women's logic. See, we're acting just like you women. We're hitting you guys with the same logic you hit men with, and we're coming with the same standards you want in us, and we're coming at you with it. And it's making you women mad because what you require in a man, you simply don't have. So when a man is coming at you with the same energy, you're getting angry because it's coming from within because you know you don't have it. So if you're mad at this movement, you might have to go take a look in the mirror because all we're doing is acting just like you guys. We're hitting you guys with the same sassy attitude that you guys are coming with. So if we're sassy and we're weird and, and we're, we're weird and stuff, then what are you? If this movement is lame and makes men considered lame, then what are you? We're just doing what you guys are doing. God bless. <laughs> soft Listen guy era is only for a soft gay era. Men that want a high maintenance woman independently to take care of his bitch ass because he can't do it for his motherfucking self and they call him the woman broke when all the time it's them that can't maintain. That just sounded like projection from her own personal life. Whenever men get together and start something, it's always homophobic to these women. Is it really wrong of men to want women to treat them the same way they want to be treated and reciprocate? These bitter women just got nothing better to do after hitting the wall. They're just lonely and miserable. A man is allowed to be in his soft guy era. Them jizzle jizzle men, a whole nother category. Let's talk about it. They like Barbara the Builders. They know that they don't have to love you. All they have to do is be around you so that way you could feel fulfilled and not lonely. As long as you feeding them, bathing them, wiping their ass and doing all the things that they mama did, right? And that they mama still doing. Tell me I'm lying. These are the kind of men who have never been capable to ever provide for themselves 100%, let alone another woman. They know that they will never reach that level of a uh, success when it comes to being a man who most likely wants to one day start a family because as soon as they turn 35 they're gonna realize that damn my biological clock just might be ticking and i might have to settle for a little 18 year old because i'm a fucking weirdo right that's how y'all be thinking low-key but that's that's just me a real man is gonna take a time to to turn that hard life he got into something more softer he gonna go get a pedicure and he's also going to allow for his woman to do something for him. He's not always going to feel the need to always have to take charge and be overwhelmed. Um, a true man in his soft guy era has balance. But y'all mofos. <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. 
Fun fact. Men don't have a biological clock. We can reproduce until the day we die. Drizzle on. Our great father Kevin Samuels talked about the shaming tactics. We aren't providing for women, ma'am. That is outdated patriarchal thinking. If you can't afford us, just say that. Drizzle drizzle is literally mocking sprinkle sprinkle. If you have all that to say about ironically saying the exact things y'all say, then y'all see how dumb y'all sound. Birds of the same feather, modern birds flock together. Another one who lacks the brains to see their own delusion. Just remember if she can't afford your rent, your water bills, you need to let her go. You deserve better. Oh, I'm sorry, is that supposed to offend me? I am a gold digger. This woman might just become the next cat lady. Meow, meow. You know something I've been noticing lately is that most men have been treated like trash. I'm not gonna lie, like I feel bad for y'all and y'all need to start picking better. Pick women that wanna invest in y'all, that wanna take care of y'all. What are you doing? You know what I find insane? Everybody keeps asking me what I think about the drizzle drizzle uh, movement. I'm all for it. I literally talk about men's mental health all the time. I'm always on men's side. So of course I'm going to ride for this fucking movement. And here's another thing. Whenever that soft guy merch, uh, you know, comes out or whatever, I'm going to buy about 10 of those outfits and pass them to my followers or whatever so they can wear it, send me pictures, and then I'll post it all over my stuff. Anything that has to do with black men rising to the top, I support it. You women that are getting upset at this soft guy era drizzle drizzle, what are you mad about? Y'all had your fun with I hate men movement, the Me Too movement, sprinkle sprinkle and all this stuff. And that sprinkle sprinkle lady, that hyena lady or whatever that talks like this, she literally encourages you guys to take men's money. The soft guy movement is just about men getting treated right, getting loved and cherished as well. If you get mad at that, something's wrong with your head. Larga de aquí. If you're mad at it, pow, pow, pow. That's a soft guy that's correct. The Sprinkle Sprinkle movement is promoting how to use men and take the money that they've worked so hard for to obtain. And the soft guy era is promoting that men should be treated equally and fairly in relationships. They of course turn a blind eye to that because it doesn't fit in with their agenda. They're all a bunch of self-centered bitter women. They're just looking for their next sucker to leech off of. Listen, I ain't condoning none of that soft guy ever shit they talk about. I'm not condoning none of it. I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? This is why they call him assassin now. A joke is a joke, but y'all taking it too far. You know what I'm saying? We not, no, I'm not going with none of that. I got hoodies that say soft girl era on mindrightdaily.com. Go get you one of those. This is what I be talking. This is what I be talking about with these pan, bro, these pander bears, bro. Until we get rid of this kind of behavior, we're going to continue living in this apocalyptic culture that we currently live in. So this is what you would call basically white knight syndrome. Um, it's kind of what liberals do a lot of times where they'll join women's rights movements and <clears throat> think that that's... I had never seen a male bird before. Guess it's first time for everything. I guess he thinks by joining the sprinkle side, the women will flock towards him. How come we've never seen these men talk about the sprinkle sprinkle warriors, where they teach women how to use men for money? It's only when men do something these girly guys speak out against it. Just disgusting. Men should always pay on the first date, and this is why. There's about to be two grand on my face, starting with Dior Moisturizer, 135. Honestly, ma'am, you can stop right there. Your reasonings are beyond mentally retarded. But other than that, you spending 2K for makeup, gotta be the dumbest shit ever. I mean, if you were dating several women, you're getting double the gifts, double the money. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just seen here is a prime example of why women are absolutely done. Drizzle, drizzle. Now hold up. Just wait a minute. Do you keep that same energy when you see this? You really wouldn't be worried about a commitment if you were dating several. You'd be like, I'm, I'm, I like it because I'm getting double the gifts, double the money, double the dates. If you if you were playing the game the right way, you wouldn't be worried about no commitment. In fact, if someone's trying to commit to you, you'd be worried about how to break up with the other one. 
So I just want to make sure we're on the same page here, Drizzle Drizzle, that you're going to keep that same energy towards these women who make these videos. And you don't realize I'm mocking these women. Drizzle Drizzle is the movement to put these sorry ass women in their place. These women that think they can just use and abuse men and get whatever they want out of them. Yeah, well, we're flipping the tables on you bitches now. We've just done the same thing. The difference is, is we're being sarcastic because we understand there's good women out there. We'd never do that to good women. Whereas there's women like that, that you just saw, who expect to do this to every man. We're not going to let this movement die because it's about time we start standing up to all these ridiculous women who make all these claims. So who should you really be mad at? Be mad at Sprinkle Sprinkle, not Drizzle Drizzle. They want to hold men accountable so bad, but don't hold the women accountable for the things they're preaching. This is just what you call double standards. These women pick and choose what agenda they want to push out, all in the hopes of trying to cancel men. Oh, and I couldn't find that video on her page anymore. Guess that's a start to taking accountability for her. Oh, major ick today in my soft guy era. So I went to Walmart to buy a new headlamp uh, bulb for my uh, car. I'd gone out and I was looking in the manual to see which um, exact bulb I needed. And someone, some woman came up to me and asked me where the car floor mats were. Uh, such a major ick I turned and I yelled at her at the top of my voice. Do not approach men in public, you creep. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> such an ick. <laughs> What's actually hilarious is the amount of women that are outraged by this soft guy era because basically these men are flipping the roles on them and they realize how ridiculous and unrealistic it sounds when a man says it, but then when they say it, it's not ridiculous. Like some women have even gone as far as to call these men gay and act really homophobic towards them for simply asking for what they're asking for. And what I get from it, even if it is a joke, jokes aside, it's about reciprocation and it's showing how many women expect it automatically because their inflated egos are telling them that they deserve it no matter what, without any reciprocation. And I don't know about you guys, but any relationship that you're in deserves appreciation, reciprocation, and I think a lot of you guys need to go back to kindergarten where we learn to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if you don't want to be used, then don't use people. If you don't want to be looked at as a paycheck, don't be a gold digger. If you want respect, you have to give respect. If you want someone to be compassionate and considerate, you have to be compassionate and considerate. And yes, this absolutely goes both ways. So the fact that so many women are showing the fact that they'll never reciprocate the same energy, this explains why so many men are out here, just match my energy, match my energy and I'll match yours. And the problem is it's not happening. It's the same way that so many women will come online and bash men and talk shit about men and, and talk about their first dates being awful. But the moment that my platform or other women like me call out toxic behaviors, it's a problem. So y'all can talk shit about men and their toxic behaviors, but when women call you out on your own toxic behaviors, it's different. Anyways, drizzle drizzle, kings. Okay, bye. This is the best time ever to raise your standards on the women you date honestly. No more dating broke women. No more just accepting anything. No more just giving your all away for nothing. Ask yourself, what do you get out of it anyway? The good thing in this soft guy era movement is that you can weed out all the bad ones and see all the good women who understand reciprocity in the comments. The women who are laughing and truly understand what this is about is the women you guys should go for. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, you know, every time I get on this app, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all, but now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era, this drizzle drizzle movement, right? Listen, any man that's comfortable with the woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you will do the same with a man. A lot of these men, ladies, are just down low. They just too insecure to come out the closet. You know, because this whole movement is perpetuated by them not really being, you know, for them being in their feminine energy, for them not wanting to be a lead 
with masculine energy because when you're in your masculine energy, there comes responsibility. You don't want the responsibility, so you want to go in your female energy, your feminine energy, talking about you want to live a soft life. You a man. But a lot of you males don't really want the responsibility. So now you want to flip it and try to gaslight women into believing that they supposed to pay your way. Understand it's the same thing that these men are trying to get women to do for them. They will allow a man to do it for the right price. Typical shaming tactic from a modern bird. If she can't afford you, she's not the one for you. Men have been abused and used for a long time. It's time for a change. The men aren't even asking for ridiculous things like these women are. They're only asking for reciprocity. The saying goes like this, no hymen, no diamond.